Hey, hey, YouTube. Hey, man, this is Mr. Chris the Trucker. Uh, I'm out here on the road. I'm actually uh, in the hotel room right now in um, in Georgia. Uh, I'd say Atlanta, but it's not Atlanta, Georgia. It's, um, it's somewhere in, in Georgia here. Um, uh, my trainer with CRST is on her uh, home time. So she is taking her four days off, uh, actually six days, because we got here a little bit early. Um, so uh, she's taking her time off. And then uh, we're going to head out, I believe, Thursday or Friday. And, uh, <laughs> sorry, guys. She's tired. Um, and then we're going to head out um, and go to uh, California, uh, to Montana, California, uh, which uh, at that point, uh, when I get to Montana, uh, I get off her truck. And I test out um, with the uh, CRST. Uh, they then determine whether or not I need to go back out on the road for more training or if I need to uh, get my truck and get on the road, get my co driver and then go. Um, I already have my co driver lined up. My co driver is. Um, uh, I think he's uh, in Montana now, uh, so he's pretty much waiting for me to get back, which I will be back until uh, next week, week after or something. Uh, I should be back on the, on, uh, I think, uh, 13th or something like that, cold 13th uh, Montana. So, um, Looking, uh, looking real good though. Uh, the company, um, I know I, I, I've seen and heard a lot of bad things about the company. Even uh, while I was there at the company, you know, in the terminal in Fontana, uh, people were talking, you know, the drivers that have been there a while were talking about it. Right? But, um, you know, it just, uh, the way I look at it is, you know, don't believe everything you hear. And everything that you do here, like especially, uh, you know, in the trucking world, with the trucking companies, you know, big box companies like Covenant, Swift, CRST, all them, uh, there's always going to be a crowd or a bunch or whatever you want to call it that's going to have negative feedback. Well, you know, the way I look at it is they brought it upon themselves. So it's either whatever they did or whatever uh, I don't know I mean it, it's just some circumstance that brought the negative feedback on so uh, now uh, the trainer I have uh, she's owner operator uh, through CRST uh, she uh, has been with CRST for 10 years so, um, she's about ready to get out, uh, and it's not, uh, she's not mad at the company or nothing, it just, uh, she's getting married, uh, she's been in it long enough, she's earned the money she wanted to earn, so now she wants to retire, relax, and, uh, you know, have a good time, so, and I, you know, I'm sure that when I get to 10 years or 12 years with the company, then I'm going to want to, you know, kick back, retire, spend time with my kid, my wife, and all that. So, um, but uh, to my experience so far with Serious T, um, at first it was a little shaky, you know, through orientation upon 10. You know, uh, their van's a piece of crap, but hey, you know, trying to save money, run the company. It happens. I understand that. No big deal. Um, then, uh, uh, well, you know, that, that was pretty much it. it. was the van situation that they got, you know, the shuttle type of situation they got. You know. And it, it did take us some time to get the, uh, uh, my ID to me and all that, you know, uh, which 
I was, uh, I was, uh, you know, a little upset about it, but you know what, you know, they, they said that they had a new person down there, uh, in the Iowa, uh, main terminal, uh, taking care, you know, new person down there doing the processing for the, uh, Fontana terminal orientation. And, uh, so I let that go. I understand that. No problem. Uh, but, you know, once you did get on it, you know, everything went pretty smooth. You know, uh, by Calm Data Card, I couldn't activate that until the following Monday, which was fine. You know, it was a weekend. No big deal. Okay. So, you know, a lot of little, little bullshit, I let go. Why let it stress you out? Why put yourself through a bunch of stress and then go out there with a trainer and be more stressed? Not good, okay? Don't do that to yourself. Don't do that. But CRST in my book right now, so far, it's a good company. Now, I will tell you, when you, they, they tell you in training that uh, you'll make about 22 cents a mile while training. Bullshit. Okay. Keep an eye on your pay. Okay. Keep an eye on your pay. And the reason why I say it is because they told me 22 cents a mile when I get out there with the trainer. No. I've been with, uh, well, I got, I've got, you know, some experience. I got like nine months, you know, uh, 10 months experience. Uh, that will now have 10, 11, you know, months experience, give or take. Um, so, anyway, they pay me on their pay scale for that experience level, uh, 31 cents a mile. Okay. Some of you, it's not a lot. Okay. But I will tell you this. The Covenant will pay you 15 cents a mile, 12 cents a mile to start. Okay pretty low pay, right? But I was still raking in the money with them. How? Because it was winter time. They wouldn't let us chain up. They wouldn't let us ride in the snow. They had us laid over all the time. So most of the pay that I got was layover pay. And the miles I did get were harder in miles. So, uh, but with this company here, CRST, the one that we're talking about, uh, they started me off at 31 cents, even through my training. So, this way, by the time I'm out of training, I get my truck, I put in a month or two, I think a month, with um, a co driver. Then I'll get a raise. So I don't know if it's a one cent raise or a two cent raise or three cent raise or what it is. So I have to look. But I think it's a, I think it's like a one or two cent raise. Okay. So by the time a year passes or two years pass, I'll be making about roughly pretty close to forty cents. I think forty cents a month. Don't quote. I don't have my paperwork in front of me. I'm at the hotel, so all my paperwork is on the truck, so I can't I can't tell you. So but uh, but you can easily go on, on the website and, and check it out. You know, check out what the pay scale is. Uh, I'm sure I'm sure it's updated now. So uh, anyway. All right, who's yawning out there? Because I'm yawning now. Stop. Uh, anyway. Now, CRST, like I said, in my book, good company, okay? Now, uh, people I've like talked to in CRST have told me, once you come off the truck as training, then the hell starts. So we'll see. We'll see. I'll keep you updated as much as I can. Uh, I don't have internet when I'm out there on the road, so which I'm going to... Uh, you know, if everything goes good, I'll, I'll correct that soon. So, 
anyone. Um, uh, but just to let you know, guys know, I'm still uh, I'm still kicking, doing good, serious team so far, good company for me. Okay. Um, but I planned on I plan on putting some time in with CRST, about six months, maybe a year. I, I might go a year, okay? Now, here's what they did do. Now, uh, those of you that watch my videos, um, I thank you, okay? Uh, but the ones that have watched my videos, I uh, know I have the three incidents on my CSA, okay? Now, those of you that haven't, and are just now watching. Um, I have a right turn boo boo, and I got two backup boo boos on my CSA. So, not good. Okay, now what CRST did was one, they gave me a chance. I think okay. cool. Not many companies do that. I know because I called around. Okay, um, now. What CRST did was, like I said, one, they gave me a chance. Two, as soon as they knew that I was going to be hired, or I should say semi hired, because you got to go out for training. If you don't pass training, then they, uh, you know, when you come back for your test down, you don't pass and they let you go. So, you know. So, but anyway, once they had an idea that I was going to be pretty much hired, then they went ahead and put me on a year of probation because of those boo boos that I got. Okay, so those of you going out for truck driving, be careful. You have a teammate. Okay, before you go on the road with your teammate, you go through a thing called orientation. Okay, all companies do orientation, experienced or not, you do orientation. Why? Well, let me tell you why. You got to know how the company works, right? You got to do their log books. By law, you have to do a log book class with them. They call it a class, I call it a test, I call it whatever. I don't know, whatever. But by law, you got in all states, you got to do you know, log book. You got to do hazmat, you know, and the safety. Okay? You gotta do all that now. Um, so once you get through your orientation, and during that orientation, they are going to tell you um, the goal, the word "go." Get out and look now, and they're going to tell you to get a spotter, which is your co-driver or a worker at a shipper or receiver that you go into. Well, your backer, your spotter should be not behind the trailer like my co driver was with Kevin. Okay? Not a good place to be. Okay? Your spotter should be in front of your tractor, your truck. Okay? Watching to when you can see both sides of the trailer that you're backing and see what you're backing into. Now, this way you see him, he sees you, and what you're doing. Okay, you see him, you can look in both your mirrors still. Okay, now. When, when you get out of orientation and you get your code driver, you get you make sure you got that clear. Because if you get any boot boots on your record, it's going to be hard to get a job. Trust me. Been there, done that. Okay? Now, I got a couple companies online. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be with this company for maybe, I'm thinking about a year. Well, it'll determine whether I'm going to be with them or not for a year because. You know, after I get off the truck and I get my own truck, and we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. You know. But anyway, uh, everything goes good. I'll be with him six months to a year. Then I'm going to go with Gordon. Good company. Good company. The reason why? 
because I can run the 11 Western states. Once I run the 11, and that means that I'll be home more. Okay? That's good and bad. Okay? Good, you're home, so you get more and all that. Bad, wheels aren't turning. Where's your money being made? Not making money. Okay. Guys, ladies, you know, watching. In order to make money in trucking, whether you're owner operator or you are solo company driver, you got to keep the wheels moving to make money. Now, here's what I've learned since I've been out there on the road. All the experience I've had. Run hard. Run hard. The minute you drop a load off, may take a day off. That way you can shower, get your laundry done, do what you gotta do, get your head regrouped, you know. But you, what I what we try and do, or what I try and do, is that while I'm under a load and I'm I'm coming to the last uh, maybe the last uh, six seven hundred miles of, of where that load's got to be. Um, I'm gonna pull over, take a break, and get on that call column and ask my driver manager, "Hey, you got a load coming out of you know coming out of uh, Florida? You got a load coming out of Georgia? You know wherever you're gonna drop that final you know wherever your final drop off is." You ask him, "Hey, like." If I have a load coming here to Georgia, hey, do I have a load that's ready to come out of Georgia? You know, you got to get on there. You got to get on a horn. You got to keep things moving. Otherwise, you know what's going to happen? You're going to drop the load. You're going to go to a, a truck stop, and you're most likely going to be sitting there for a day or two. Okay, if it's the weekend, company drivers, what do you do? Your driver manager's gone. So what are you going to do over the weekend? Sit on your ass doing nothing. The wheels are not moving. You're making no money. And what are you doing with the money you made? You're spending it. Why? Because you're sitting there doing nothing. You got to eat. You got to entertain yourself. Hey, come on, people. Get with it. You're on a truck. Make sure the wheels are always turning. Anyway, I got to run. I'm going to grab me some to eat. Take me a little shut eye. And uh, I will be back with you guys. Uh, I might throw up another video later on today. I might not. Uh, but I just want to throw this one up to let you guys know I'm alive. Still kicking. Uh, if it goes good, I'll buy some new equipment to where I can uh, film some backing, film some other stuff, you know. Uh, my backing right now isn't too great. I mean, it's better. It's a lot better than what it was. Believe me, a lot better. Okay, I got more confident now in the back. Before, I didn't have any confidence. Now, I got confidence. I can do this. I got this. Okay? Alright, guys. You guys have fun. If you're out there trucking, keep those wheels moving. And remember, goal. Get out and blow. Alright, guys. Take care. Peace.